The title of the book is Correcting the Vitamin D Deficiency Epidemic Strategies to Fight Diseases and Prolong Life for Black People. And then as a subheading, Recent Scientific Research Links Vitamin D Deficiency to, listen to this now, listen to this, and it may be you in the category, links vitamin D deficiency to cancer, diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease, obesity, mental diseases, arthritis, lupus, multiple sclerosis, pregnancy-related complications, autism, respiratory infections, asthma, uh, and other diseases. Maybe you're in that category. And then finally, on the very front cover, uh, she says, more than 90% of blacks have low vitamin D levels. Blacks suffer disproportionate illness and mortality rates from major chronic diseases. What a statement. I'm sure you must be stopping in your tracks. What a mind-blowing statement. And so Miss Emily Allison Francis is with us again in the studio and is going to be with us later on today, by the way, at 4 p.m. But Miss Allison, uh, Miss Francis, thank you for being with us again. Honored to have you. And thank you, thank you, thank you for your life-saving work. It's in your hands. Thank you for having me, mm -hmm. Reverend Daughter. And I'm um, especially happy to be on this program mm -hmm. because of what the information means to black people. Mm -hmm. As you mentioned uh, on the title, from reading the title of the book, we are critically deficient in vitamin D. And research has shown including statistics from the Center for Disease, um, the Center for Disease, CDC, Center for Disease Control and Prevention, show that black people carry the brunt of the burden. We suffer disproportionately from the major diseases and research Recent research and many, many studies have linked the disproportionate disease and mortality rate among blacks to vitamin D deficiency. So that makes it so important for this meeting today that we get the information out to people especially people of color. Mm -hmm. um, I should say that since I started <clears throat> this book, during the time I did the research for this book, up to this point and up to this point, I have talked with many, many black people. And sadly, a high percentage of the people I talked to do not know about the importance of vitamin D to health. And that's one of the reasons why we need to get this information out because black people are suffering. We suffer more and we die earlier. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, um, in the United States, the the mortality, the life expectancy for black men in certain sections of the United States was found to be lower than the life expectancy in many developing countries. Mm, wow. You know, which is very sad. Yes. Very sad. Right. right. You know, um, tell me, pardon me if I, if I may. Okay. Uh, maybe we should say to those, why? Why is it, why are you concentrating on black people? I mean, with vitamin D, why the concentration on black okay. people? I am concentrating on, on, on the, the needs of black people mm -hmm. because I noticed that the literature that is out there, the scientific literature that is out there, mm -hmm. 
does not pay much attention to our needs, mm -hmm. sadly. Mm -hmm. Many of the books that deal with vitamin D deficiency mm -hmm. mention that blacks are in greater danger. Right. And that's about it. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the medical department, right. um, the, the health department in the country that is responsible for setting the, 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 the standard for the amount of vitamin D that should be consumed mm -hmm. by the population. Right. Um, this, this department doesn't seem to pay much attention to the needs of people of color, right. of black people. Right. You know, and I saw all this and I said to myself that, you know, we need to get something out there, some information out there mm -hmm. that addresses our needs. Right, right. And that was one of the things that motivated me to do a lot of research right, and right. to write this book. Right. Now, how would you talk to uh, why why did why is the deficiency in, in 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 black people as it relates to the sun you know the melanin and all of that why are we deficient in in vitamin D okay that's a good question thank you um, <clears throat> we are more deficient in vitamin D because of the melanin in our skin mm -hmm. melanin was made um, God made us mm -hmm. with more melanin in the skin for very, very important reasons. Mm -hmm. In years gone by, many, many years ago, um, our ancestors lived in, in areas in Africa mm -hmm. where the, 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 the rays of the sun, mm -hmm. the rays are very intense. Right. So in order to protect the body from DNA damage, mm -hmm. in order to protect the DNA in the body mm -hmm. from damage, then melanin was there to serve as a sunblock mm -hmm. to reduce the intensity of the sun, th thus the, the intense penetration mm -hmm. of the sun. Now as time goes on, went by, um, our ancestors moved away from Africa and live in, in countries where sunshine is deficient. For example, many a uh, great, um, large, um, a very large area of the United States of America, mm -hmm. the northern section, mm -hmm. <clears throat> where latitude is above 35 degrees, mm -hmm. and also in other countries that are not. Um, exposed to the intense sunlight mm -hmm. um, to such an intense sunlight as we our ancestors experienced in Africa mm -hmm. okay so um, in moving to areas of high latitude where you have less sunlight mm -hmm. we become this the sunblock the permanent sunblock that is created by melanin mm -hmm becomes a barrier to for to us getting the amount of sunlight that will produce vitamin d under the skin right right okay so melanin is a good thing mm -hmm. but in certain areas it becomes an impediment right so as a result of this then there is a deficiency in in black people in these regions and this deficiency in, in vitamin d uh, has an impact on all aspects of uh, the immune system and the mood swings and the, the whole thing that you have pointed yes. out here. Vitamin D, uh, according to recent studies, is not really a vitamin. It is a hormone, hormone. Right. and many studies have um, referred to are referring to it are referring to it as the wonder substance, the wonder a substance. miracle hormone, okay. because it has such profound and widespread effect mm -hmm. on the well-being of people, right. of all people. Um, the, the cells of the body mm -hmm. have landing pads mm -hmm. known as vitamin D receptors mm -hmm. that receive vitamin D 
in order for different biological functions to um, take place, to be carried out, right. and especially immune functions. Right, right, okay. All right, now listen, don't forget, uh, Miss Francis is going to be here at the church at 4 p.m., at 4 p.m. today. You can ask more questions. This subject is so vast, so deep, so, so uh, life-changing that you need to be here. Invite your friends to come out to hear uh, Miss, Miss, Miss Francis. Again, as I said, we're not selling anything. This is, I'm not changing the uh, uh, ministry. But this was so important, so super important. I just wanted to take these two weeks uh, to make the presentation. Now, two things quickly. You related that helped to prompt us being back. You mentioned last week uh, the impact of the deficiency on vitamin D on pregnancy and the fetus, etc. And the second thing is the cofactors that go with vitamin D. Yes, ma'am. Um, it is very, very important that women of color, black women mm -hmm. um, of childbearing age, be optimized with vitamin D. It's very important that they have enough vitamin D in their bodies because vitamin D has a very, very um, important effect mm -hmm. on gene expression. Vitamin D can actually um, cause the genes to malfunction. Mm. And many studies are pointing to the high rates of autism in the black population mm. and the high rates of a, of hyper, hi, hyperactivity right. hyperactivity in children as right. a matter of fact black children are disproportionately placed in special ed classes right. Right. in the school system mm -hmm. and many studies are suggesting that the deficiency of vitamin D mm -hmm. before the children were born. Mm -hmm. Deficiency in their mothers mm -hmm. could have had very serious effect mm -hmm. on the genes expression, the genes of controlling the brain function. Right. Mm -hmm. so, oh man. Boy, that so it's very important yeah. that women of childbearing age and nursing mothers be optimized. Also, babies should also be given vitamin D. And the book explains the amount that should be given right. for the different age groups and for different conditions. Right. Are you listening out there, Brother Jay-Z and Beyonce? Uh, are you listening to the program? You know, of course, not only you and, and your wife, Jay-Z, but all uh, mothers and mothers-to-be. Second. Uh, on the cofactors, the magnesium and calcium. The cofactors, yes. okay, very important. The mm. cofactors are very important. Vitamin D works with other nutrients in the body to carry out its functions. Mm -hmm. And a few of these nutrients are, um, the, or the most important ones of them are calcium, magnesium, and vitamin K2. Vitamin D and calcium and magnesium work together to do a number of things. For example, um, gene expression to allow the, to, to monitor the genes, to cause the genes to work as they are intended to work. Also, the immune functions, they work together to help immunity. Um, a few of the important diseases come to mind. Heart disease. Vitamin D is important in controlling, in preventing and controlling heart disease. Mm -hmm. But vitamin D also works with calcium mm -hmm. and magnesium, vitamin K.